Calculating depreciation. This video has got three tasks linked to the topic of depreciation. If you're unsure on what depreciation is or how it's calculated, make sure you check out some of my other videos which explain this concept in detail. So, question one. B is looking to buy a new electric car. B would like to know how much depreciation the business could be charged in year one using a straight line method. Down below you'll see the new Corsa E. I was watching a video about this. I'm not sure myself whether I think these are great things or not yet, but B's looking to buy one. The purchase price is £26,490. The expected life is five years and the residual value is expected to be £6,000. So pause the video whilst you undertake the calculation using the straight line method. So here is the answer you should have got. Firstly, you need to actually find out how much depreciation B is going to suffer with the purchase. So you do the 26,490 minus a 6,000 pound residual value, and that will give you 20,490 pound. Because we're doing a straight line method, you simply divide that total amount of depreciation by five. And each year on your statement to consult comprehensive income, you will be putting in four thousand and ninety eight pounds as part of your depreciation. You got that right. Well done. So task two, here is the same car again, only this time B is going to be looking to use the reducing balance method. So the purchase price is £26,490, it's still meant to last for five years, but it's this time depreciation is at 20%. Using the reducing balance method, calculate the amount of depreciation for year one. Pause video while you do this, and then unpause it to see the answer. So, you hopefully have got the answer now of... £26,490 multiplied by 0 0.20, that's a way of finding 20%, remember, and that would give you £5,298. So in that first year, that would be apportioned to depreciation and put on the statement of comprehensive income. So that's where it would go. So let's have a look at task three. Task three is just like we had before, only this time B wants to know what the year two depreciation amount is going to be based on the reducing balance method. So what you just used a minute ago, but this time year two. So there's your data on the screen. You've got the purchase price, expected life and depreciation. You've also got your data from task two that you'll be needing to use. Pause the video while you undertake the calculation to work out the depreciation for year two. So there is your answer. So firstly, you will need to work out the £26,490 purchase price multiplied by the 20%, which gives you £5,229. You then, because we're doing the reducing balance method, need to subtract that amount of depreciation from the original value of the asset, which was £26,490. And that gives the asset now a value of £21,192. So that is the value of the asset at the moment for the end of year one going into year two you then take the value of the asset which it is at the start of year two twenty one thousand one hundred ninety two pounds you multiply it by the twenty percent and you find four thousand two hundred and thirty eight pound and forty pence there is the amount of money you would apportion to the cost for depreciation in year two hope that made sense hope you got those answers correct if so you fully understand depreciation if you got it Incorrect, so you're still not fully sure, make sure you check out my other videos on depreciation. Don't forget to give the YouTube channel a like, a share and a follow. And until next time, keep buzzing.